Hey coaches, how are you? So I just wanted to come to you and bring you another video. I know it's been a while. So um, I was crazy busy, I had my wedding, and then it was just a crazy past few weeks. So um, this is just a good way to touch base with all of you, um, aside from our one-on-one -on -one calls, and also I'm gonna be doing some group video calls as well. So um, before I get on that um, call and we set that all up, I wanted to come to you and talk to you about something that I have learned from my coach that I want to share with you. So if you haven't already heard me talk about it before, this is something that is called creating your avatar. Now, you may have heard this in business before, um, but what it is, it's really how we want to attract our ideal client. So a lot of us, um, let me turn this TV off. A lot of us, um, you know, we have clients that we attract because they're friends or family, but once we start reaching outside um, our comfort zone and we're trying to connect with people that we may not know, um, this is a good way to kind of connect with someone that is kind of just like yourself. Pretty much it is yourself. <laughs> so this is how it works. So creating your customer avatar, what is it? Um, it's understanding your customer's needs and it's speaking directly to them. So what I want you guys to do is make a list. And this list is going to be probably anywhere from 10 to 15, 20, even 30 things um, that your avatar um, is looking for or things that you would have in common with them. What does this mean? It means who are you? What are your likes? What are your dis dislikes? Um, what are just who is the person that you are? So for me, for example, um, I would say 28 years old, but my demographic might be from maybe 25 to 35. Single or newly married, um, I have a pet, I have a dog, um, I love going to the beach, I love taking trips, I love being adventurous. Um, I f didn't necessarily feel like the corporate nine to five job was something that worked for me. So I created an opportunity for myself that was outside of that what everyone likes to call you know, the corporate um, corporate America. Um, let's see, I love to shop, um, whether it's online or at the mall. Um, I like to do, you know, things like meditation and yoga and Pilates, um, but I also like weightlifting. So there's a variety of workouts or, or programs that are in there that fall into that category. Um, Let's see, I, you know, I like to work out five days a week, but I also like to go and get massages and do bowl baths and spas and things like that. Um, I, let's see, what else do I have on here? Um, so, let's see. Okay, I look, I do daily um, motivational and reading books and self-development. So, what is it that you who are you? And this is the person that you're going to be looking for. Now, a lot of you ask me, how do I find, like when I'm reaching out to people on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, like who am I searching for? Because it's already super saturated with people that are already in Beachbody or some other type of program. So get as specific as you possibly can. Um, for me, one of the examples that I use is there's a church that's right next to my house. And it's not just a regular church. It's for meditation and yoga and Reiki. So I have hashtagged that church to see who is around me. Like I'm trying to become more involved in the market that's right outside my door. These are people that I can meet with at a coffee shop um, or over the phone. So try and be more specific to the area that you're in. And that also will help when you're, when you're researching and hashtagging and looking for your ideal um, customer or your ideal avatar. Um, then also, so what does the conversation look like? Think about it. If someone's reaching out to you and they want to talk to you about an opportunity, what is it that you're going to respond to? Something, you know, some, if someone comes to me and talks to me about children, I don't have any children yet. So that's not something I'm going to relate to. But if that's something that you do have, lead with that. And if that's something that you have in common, that's going to be what will work for you to get the conversation going. Um, so I hope this video helps. I'm going to, to post this up on our team page. If you have any questions, please message me. And um, I'm going to elaborate a little bit further on this. But I just wanted to get the conversation going so you have an idea of um, 
kind of a better way to, to start looking for your ideal customer versus just anyone out there. Now, obviously we wanna help as many people as possible. That is my goal, um, to help anyone out there that's on a mission to better themselves, their families, um, and everybody around them. So definitely we wanna help those people as well. But we also, it does make it a lot more fun when we're working with people just like ourselves. Again, for me, I wanna be in an environment where I'm bettering myself. And um, you know, it's always fun when you can work with someone like yourself. So let me know if you have any questions. I can't wait to do our team call. Let me know if Friday or Sunday works better for you guys and at what time, okay? I will talk to you soon and everybody have a great night. Take care, bye-bye.